What's going on, everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it. This is all the stuff I picked up over my vacation. Uh, last week, I went down to Virginia Beach to see some family, went to some card shops. Nothing too great, but I did end up going to a BJ's, which was really cool. First time I bought, I mean, I bought from there before, but I've never been inside of a shop. So I'm going to take you there uh, right now to just check it out. And I also hit up a flea market down in Dover, Delaware. And I'm going to take you there because I picked up probably one of the better rookie cards from the 60s to get. So make sure you check that out. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, so a lot of cool places down there. The card shops are a little overpriced. I didn't pick up a lot. I went to two other ones, and they were just eh. Um, but that little flea market I went to with the guy who I bought from had a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of good old cards. Uh, not a lot of new stuff, but still some good vintage stuff. Plus, hey, we got a cool new intro for the channel now and a new logo, so we did a lot over break, actually. So really cool. At that BJ's, we ended up picking up a blaster box of... You know, tops opening day. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, just some of the rookies we got. You know, nothing that awesome. I mean, the Wander Franco is the best one. We will sleeve that one up right now. All right. I found all my penny sleeves. That's what I was looking for. Just for one for the Franco. All right. There it is. So that's probably the best card we got in that box. Nothing else too crazy. A lot of, you know, rookie cards I'm going to sleeve up. Bruhan probably be the second best. Um, some nice stuff. Nice cards there well, let's probably just put these away into a you know 5,000 count box and rookies and wait and see how their careers go and then pull them out if they're really doing well but that's probably the best card in that box so that's what i got from the bj's i went to you know some card shops locally some that flea market i'm gonna show you in a second but i picked up a lot of good stuff so we'll look through that got some hobby boxes and i was at walmart and i picked up a hanger of playbook not the mega boxes mega boxes are trash all right so let's see exactly what we got so we got also another from penny sleeve right there so this is from around the horn cards and collectibles so that's local i just picked up these today we have a luis garcia rafael devers i'm picking up a lot of rafael devers right now uh probably the best player on the red Sox. so very young talent too as i throw it to the ground i guess i'll pick it up later these are from my cousins down south in Virginia. I went through a whole giant box of their cards with them. Um, took me a couple days. Uh, I picked up some stuff, a lot of stuff I left there for them to resell. But Cattell Marte opening day was one of them. At least a noble name. Does have a crease right here. Did not see that when I grabbed it, but that's all right. Uh, these were from our car video that we did with cards in cars. For some just to keep past the time. Um, so we saw all these. Seth Beer, nice one. Probably the Reed is probably the best one there. And these were the cards I ended up picking up from their boxes. Uh, super, nothing crazy. I mean, this is probably probably the best one I saw. Uh, Mike Allstott, nice one. J Joe Musgrove, very good one too. Uh, Cerverino. All of them are in pretty bad shape because they're just thrown into a giant tote. Luke Jackson. This was a cool one because this is a num yeah, it's not a number card, but it's like a blue parallel from opening day. So Hector Oliveira. Then we have a Danzy Swanson, and probably the better card is Gary Sanchez, but has a bum right corner. So nothing too great, but just some stuff. Some, you know, less than a dollar cards, 50 cent cards. But these were the cards I got from the flea market. So I ended up picking two vintage rookie cards up that I, you know, just absolutely needed. Um, some are better, some are worse. I picked up a Bob McAdoo. Very nice. It has a crease here, crease here. I ended up getting this one for 15 bucks. 
not bad uh, with shipping and everything. I probably wouldn't have been about 20, 25, but still nice Buffalo Braves rookie. And then I ended up picking this card up. Uh, it has a little story to it, but I'll just show you it. Nice Willie Stargell rookie card. It does have some Sharpie written onto it, but I ended up getting this for a hundred bucks. So I thought that was a really good deal for Willie Stargell. Um, and you know, vintage is vintage. Uh, I opened it up the case. I felt it. It's, it is real. Uh, it has the old card stock. It looks good. It has the colors all match. Besides that one, that he did that. There's someone right in front of me. I was like, please stop. Uh, he tried to get the Sharpie off with um, paint thinner, and I was just like, mm, please stop. But got this really cool card. Willie Stargell, and we'll take it out of the, you know, one touch, I guess, the screw down one, and get into a top loader. But very nice card. Uh, I see these going online for about $200. So can't really complain. Add it to the collection. Not a lot from the actual trip itself. These were more from my local area. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. I did get some penny sleeves. I did pick this one up at Target, and I did not... These are trading cards because they have a blue... I thought it was just like the coloring of all the cards because they, I mean, all the cards together kind of make a blue color sometimes. Uh, I've seen that happen. But these are trading cards, regular trading cards. So... I don't know if I can use these. I probably still will eventually, but just so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Trading cards, as in Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, are different sleeves compared to football because you want to see the back of football cards and stuff. But these have just... Give me a card. Can't see the back. Still a sleeve, but you can't see the back. So, they had both. I just picked this one out, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'll, just, I'll use them. I'll use them anyways. You can always use them. Uh, and, like, penny sleeves are super hard to come after. They once were, but unfortunate. But we did get two hobby packs. These are also from Around the Horn. Cards and Collectibles. We'll check that out. And I got this stack of just, you know, basic singles. Dylan Carlson, nice for the rookies. I like that little uh, parallel. It looks really cool. Kyle Muller, regular top series one. Juju Smith Schuster. I think he's on the Chiefs now. So the rookies, his cards have been going up just because, you know, with your Patrick Mahomes, you're going to have a good year. So we'll see how that goes. And plus, Tyreek Hill's gone. So you, he might be their number one option. Luis Garcia and a Pete Werner. You know, I, I kind of asked myself, why are you getting this? You know, no name guy, but we'll see. You know, he had cards come out in multiple releases. He was on. You know, Don Russ, he was in all the other releases. I think Playoff, he has a one. Um, playbook, all those guys. So, why not? Who knows? 52 out of 100 for 250. I'll take a risk. You know, you can't really risk a lot on 250. So, I end up spending 40 bucks there. Uh, I'm really happy with our new intro. Our new intro looks sweet. They have an overbreak, and it just it makes us look more legit. So, I did that online with in the car ride going to an amusement park, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. Let's get going on these packs. So let's we will start with let's go start with the hits. These were about 14 bucks a piece, a little high, but hopefully we can get one of these guys. Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, a Trevor Lawrence autograph, because they are in this. It is high series. So let's go. If we get a Mac Jones, it'd be unbelievable. Oh, I just won't use the blue sleeves. We're gonna actually one autograph per pack. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Ronnie Perkins, Zach Wilson. All right, so we got one of them. Davis Mills. We have a Kylan Granson, tight end. Don't know much about him. Uh, probably not one of those bigger name rookies, but just a regular rookie. All right, Kyle Pitts, Kadarius Tony, Mac Jones. So we are getting some of those rookies. Sage and hit rookies don't really do much. But we will see. We'll we'll sleeve that one up. We won't give it a regular sleeve. We'll give it a blue sleeve just for fun. Give it a blue sleeve. These these are so cringy to me because they just they aren't good sleeves. <laughs> Ugh. I think I don't know what a. I know I've seen a lot of pro set and um, leaf cards coming for the next draft come out so far. So we'll see what how those do. But kind of ugly. It's all right. It is what it is. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we can get someone at least in the NFL. I'm not against offensive linemen if they're really good. 
Ooh, we got some shine in the back. We got some shine. Let's see. It might be a uh, autograph. Might be in the back. We have an Otis Anderson Jr. That's a little foil. That's nice. We got a red. Jake Funk. Next level. So at least it's not one of the base autographs. It is a nicer looking autograph. It's next level. And it's on car, so it's kind of nice. We'll see. I don't know much about him, but we'll check it out. And there's the rest of the bait. Jake Funk right there, running back. Oh, he's a running back from Maryland. He's probably not playing anything right now. Historically speaking, I don't know who the best player out of Maryland has been historically, but not bad. Got to risk it sometimes. And we'll see that up. There we go. I don't like I don't like these as much because they're very tight on the cards, and they're they don't have a lot of protection up top. Plus, you can't see the back. But hey, nice auto. All right, last bit of cards for today's video. Uh, we also got some contenders boxes we picked up today. We'll be checking those out on Tuesday in our mail day video. Last little bit. I'm against playoff mega boxes just because of how, I mean, they have been a bust for me. They're 44 bucks from Target, and you you barely hit anything. I mean, we have hit an Alvin Kamara rookie. Or not rookie, an Alvin Kamara patch, and it was just god-awful. Let's see. Let's see if the playbook hangers ba uh, bear. They say hangers are bangers. Very hard for me to say that sentence. Here we go. Hangers are bangers. I can't. Oh, that G's hard. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Well, we got a rookie on the back. How many cards? 30 cards. Most of them are going to be based in the front. Rookies in the back. Cool stuff in the middle. We've been through this before. We are going to check it out. Here we go. Make sure we're focused. Nice. We have DeAndre Hopkins. Michael Thomas. Chris Carson. How do you do this year? Eh, not great. Jonathan Taylor. Very good year for him. Ryan Tannehill. So a lot of regular just based. Justin Herbert. Nice. Elliot. Whoa, there we go. We got our nice sparkle. Okay, that came out of nowhere. That's the good stuff. We have a Jacob Harris, which was a better player than Jacob Harris. I mean, he's a Super Bowl champion. Very nice. At least that looks cool. That's a very cool looking card. Do we get another one? Oh, I thought we got an, an autograph for some reason. Najee Harris. Nice rookie for him. And here's another insert. Josh Allen. Alvin Kamara. And here, hopefully we get a string of rookie cards. That'd be nice. Not damaged because my Mega Box rookies were damaged. We got Baker Mayfield. Wonder where he's going to end up. Here's our rookie. So we have a Joe Tryon Shonika. Rashad Bateman. Oza. Don't know that name. Nico Collins. We have a Peyton Turner. Nick Chubb is a purple parallel. Nelson Aguilar, purple parallel. Elijah Molden, purple parallel. Dax and a Christian Barmore. So we do got some purple. That's cool. Some nice rookies there. Not the greatest, but way better than a mega box. I'll take all these rookies more than those mega boxes. Um, that's a really cool card too. I wish I was just a better rookie. Maybe like a Mac Jones or something. But hey, that is it for today, man. That was a it was a fun weekend trip. I feel refreshed. I'm ready to hit these cards up again. You know, just hit it hard and. Get some cool stuff coming in. We got some cool stuff coming in the mail from recent Facebook buys. So make sure you pay check to pay a chat. I can't say it. Pay attention to that. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has an AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.